What's going on everyone? Tom Walters here from Rehab Science. Thanks for coming back to my channel. This week we're going to look at one of the most common knee pain conditions. Uh, we call it IT band syndrome and it's really the most common cause of pain on the outside of the knee. We call it the lateral knee. It's really common in runners. We see a ton of it in the PT clinic. And uh, if you don't know much about the IT band, it's this big fibrous structure that runs down the outside of your leg. It attaches to some of our hip muscles and it provides a bunch of stability to the knee. So it's a really important structure. And uh, again, but we can get pain there. And for a long time, we thought it was a friction disorder that the IT band was kind of rubbing back and forth on the outside of the knee and irritating things. It turns out that actually probably isn't the case. The IT band is really anchored down here to the bones on the outside of the knee. So it can't really move back and forth. But there is a fat pad, which is a structure that helps to absorb shock. We've got them throughout our body in different spots, but there's one underneath the IT band. And the more current research thinks that maybe when the IT band, maybe the way the leg is moving, when we're running, things like that, that it's compressing that fat pad and leading to irritation, and maybe that's the reason for the pain. So, you know, common things that cause this kind of pain are maybe you've just picked up a running program, or maybe you were a runner and you're doing a lot more now. Running downhill is another thing that often triggers this. So if those are things that cause pain for you on the outside of your knee, this could be the issue. So we'll look at some exercises today that basically strengthen the glute muscles, particularly gluteus medius and minimus, learning to control your this bone the femur better when you're landing on that leg can help to reduce sensitivity over there so we'll look at really the top three exercises that you might get prescribed in physical therapy implementing those can often help reduce pain but another key thing is to look at your exercise program because if you've got something in there that's flaring your pain up and you don't modify that it will just stay irritated so if you're on a running program, maybe that means for a while switching to running on a flat surface instead of running hills. Just running flat for a while or maybe dialing back your mileage in a given week can help to calm the structure down. And then you can work on strength at the same time and it will get better over time. So, all right, well, let's jump into the top three exercises. The first exercise is gonna be one to strengthen gluteus medius and gluteus minimus, these muscles right here on the outside of the hip that help control our femur bone. You're going to lay on your side. It's often good to just do these exercises on both sides, but I'm gonna pretend like my left leg is the leg with the IT band syndrome. So I'm gonna lay on my right side, my left leg is up. I'm going to roll my hips forward slightly. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift that top leg. I'm gonna think about going up and back to the corner, and I'm gonna turn my leg in so my, my toes point down. So I'm gonna turn my toes down and then lift up and back to the corner and then back down only as far as my hip can move. I don't want to crunch my back or bend my low back. So turn those toes down, up and back to the corner, and we're gonna shoot for three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions, just nice and slow to strengthen those glute muscles that help to control our leg. Okay, so that's the first one. We call it sideline hip abduction, three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. The second exercise, we are gonna to move to a standing position. The next two will be in standing because we wanna strengthen our glutes, but we also wanna teach our leg to move differently in standing since most people have this pain when they're running and doing things that involve standing. So this exercise is called a standing fire hydrant. Again, it's gonna strengthen our glutes. And we're gonna do it, uh, again, my left leg, I'm pretending like is the leg that has the issue. So I'm gonna move that leg. So You'll stand on your right leg, stand on the leg that's not painful, and then you've got a band. I've got, you can find these just on Amazon and um, pretty easily online, but I'm gonna put this band around my knees. I'm going to do a partial squat, and then I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna stand on this right leg. My left leg is gonna go back, it's gonna rotate up and kinda go back to the corner. Sort of you imagine like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. So again, I'm gonna go in and out, three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. This is my painful leg. And then we're gonna also do it with my left leg on the ground. If you notice while I'm doing this, this leg, I have to balance on it, I have to control it, I can't let it, the knee move in and out. So 
it's actually helpful if you've got paint on one side to do it this way where it's moving and then to also do it this way where you've got to balance and control the painful leg. So for this exercise, you definitely want to do both sides, even if you've only got pain on one side. Okay, so that's the fire hydrant. That is our second exercise. So our last exercise is another standing one. This is one that we're really going to focus on not only gaining strength, but learning to control our leg better, especially some people with IT band syndrome, their leg, when they land on it, when they're running, will fall into this we call a dynamic valgus position. Not everyone has that, but it does happen from time to time. So we are going to look at trying to keep the knee over the foot, and this exercise will help train that. So again, I'm pretending like I have pain on my left leg. So what you're going to do is with the leg that hurts, you're going to stand at the edge of a step. So you could do this on an exercise step like this, or on uh, if you've got stairs at your house, that can work too. So I'm going to come up. My non-painful leg is hanging over the edge. And this exercise is called a lateral step down. So I'm going to put my hands on my hips. And then I'm going to step down slowly until my heel touches on the other leg, and then back up. So you don't want to push, go down with your toes, because people will try to cheat and push off with that other leg. So go down slowly, touch with your heel and come back up. So you can see this is gonna really strengthen my quads and glutes, but I have to also really think about my balance and not letting my knee move in and out like this. So we're retraining that neuromuscular system to teach my brain and nervous system to keep my knee over my toes so that when I'm running or doing other, act other activities, I've built up a tolerance to this kind of loading and I've taught my nervous system how to control the movement better. So like the other exercises, we're going to go for three sets of 10 to 12 nice, slow, controlled movements. See, even I could practice this a little bit. So those are our three exercises. Sideline hip abduction, we've got a fire hydrant, and then we've got a lateral step down. So give those a try. Um, remember again, besides getting stronger, you've also got to look at the activities in your life that might be triggering this and managing those. So if you've started a new running program, you know, maybe again, take out the hills or maybe dial your total mileage back to let the tissue calm down. So if you've got any questions, please leave them below and I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.